Hello, thanks for joining me. Uh, my name is Mary Claire Warren and I teach flute, clarinet, saxophone and keyboard. Today I'm doing a video of how to learn and how to practice Roses from the South, which I've just found out is on one of the MTB exam syllabus. So hopefully you'll find this useful. Um, I'm holding it nice and still so you can take a screen grab. And also, whilst you're screen grabbing, we'll be doing these exercises as well. So we've got exercise one, exercise two, exercise three. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play it through at a tempo of 120, which I think is a good eventual tempo to be aiming for. And we'll have a little introduction and a quick ending as well. Uh, just to point out the way that I've written it out is um, I've used lots of different time bars. So we've got four times around to play this. So we play that one. Da, 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 da. First time we do this. Da, 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 da. And we go back to the beginning. Da, 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 da. Then we go to the second time bar. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. The third time we play this again. Da, 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 da. And then that's the beginning. Da, 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 da. And finally to the end. Da, 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 da. So if you just to start off with practice the first line and practice the second line, practice the third line, practice the fourth line. Um, it's a more economical way of practicing because you don't need to play that loads and loads when you're just learning it. And it also means that I can make it nice and big so that you can see it hopefully rather than, yeah, I just like it. So off we go. video when I did beautiful beautiful brown eyes you'll know about my little cards here so I'm not expecting anybody just to sit with a cup of tea and watch this video from start to end it's going to be a bit boring and um, you're going to want to watch this um, with your keyboard you're going to want to play a bit pause it practice rewind come back to it the next day fast forward so I will put in the description the the start times for each of the the different practice bits that I do and I'm also putting these cards up so that you can flick through and see sort of what bit I'm doing. So to start with, I'm just going to talk through the right hand. And apologies if you didn't like that organ sound. It was a bit much, wasn't it? I've got it onto some strings now. So first line, um, we're going to use five finger position, C, D, E, F and G. So I've not written any finger numbers on there. We don't need them. If you do need your letters written in, by all means, write them in if it helps. So, we've just got four notes to play. C, F, E, D, each note lasts three beats. So, one, two, three. 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 So far, so good. That should be quite easy. I'll play it once more so you can play along. One, two, three. 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 Okay, and then we get finishing on a D, and then it's almost the same, but it finishes on a C. So you need to practice that really slowly because you want to get it right first time. So, one, two, three. that 
that's harder than the first line, I'm going to play it again, maybe even another two times. So one, two, three. 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 And last time. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So keep practicing that till you're happy with it. And then we'll go on to this line here. Um, which goes da da da. So it's quite different. This is the middle of the piece, really. It's like a bridge. Um, so instead of going da da da, we're going da da da. So one, two, three. And if you're feeling confident, um, you could even put a fill in there eventually. Um, so we'll play that once more. One, two. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then at the end, we're going to go da 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 da. So I think the hardest bit, really, each time is going to be around about here. Because here we've got da 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 d. And then here we've got. E, F, G, E is different, so you need to be really careful on these notes that you know exactly what you're doing, otherwise you might get confused between which bit you're doing. Um, and here, um, just two notes, that whole line. So if you think of that, that's the two note version. Um, that's the alternating version. Da, 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 da. And that's almost like a coda, that's the end. Uh, so what shall I do next? Um, I'll play the right hand all the way through um, without a drum beat. So. <laughs> that you get this book here um progressive keyboard method book one by andrew scott and gary turner um, which has it all like hit this so um you don't have to worry about sort of all the repeats and things now i do have a toblerone but we're going to use that later for joining things together and for practicing with with the chords right now what we're going to do is we're going to do right hand and drums and we're going to start at 80 beats per minute. I'm taking ACMP off, sync start on, and after three, we're going to play all the way through. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. 
done. So if any of you got that right all the way through the first time you've tried it, I'm really impressed. Um, if you didn't quite get it right that time, um, I would be tempted just to stop the video completely for today. Um, just work at it on your own, one line at a time. Work at it with your teacher. Come see me for lessons, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's a long piece. Um, so don't be upset if you didn't get it all the way through. Um, just take the drum beat out and just practice it on your own. Identify which bit is the hardest. Zone in on that bit. Um, put pencil markings on your copy. Whatever you need to do. Uh, so if you did get it right, well done. Maybe practice it once or twice more at 80. Um, and then we can do it at the next tempo, which I'll suggest is 90. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Got it right first time the next day you come back to it then we're ready to try it at 100 oh right i have here we go english waltz press tempo and then use the dial that's the best thing to do okay one two three <laughs> for the right hands and the drums um, we can practice it faster later on once we put everything together so what we're going to look at now is the chords so we'll put ACMP on and I've been meaning to say as well um, if you're playing along with the video you want to have your ACMP so your chords sound nice instead of sounding like that uh, but don't put any drum beats on because you'll never be able to sync it together. So we've got, we're starting with the chord of F and it finishes on an F. This whole piece is in the key of F. So if you're going to be pedantic and you know a bit of music theory, there should really be a B flat there. However, there's no Bs in the piece, so I can understand why um, generally at this stage we wouldn't bother with that. So chord of F is fourth finger. Remember, fourth finger on A, please. Fourth finger on A. Index finger on C, thumb on F. And then we're going to do a swap here and a slide there for a C. And then a G. And then we're back to C. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. And then we're back to F at the beginning of the piece. So a slide that way and a swap here. Da, da, da. And then we 
we've just got a C for four bars. And then back to F again. So a slide and a swap. and drums and we'll put it back down to 80 and try and imagine the tune in your head this time rather than putting up with my singing oh sing along so one two three <laughs> How did you do? Did you get lost? Did you finish in the right place? Okay, let me know in the comments. Yes. So that would probably be a good bit to get done for one day's practice. So stop the video, pause it, and um, practice the left hand and the drums. Um, I forgot to put what tempo that was. That was at 80. Um, practice it at 90, 100, 110, 120. Um, if you did get lost, if you're not sure how the repeats work, go back to the beginning of the video and watch the initial playthrough. So we've done the right hand, we've done the left hand, now we need to put them together. So, like I said before, the first time we do it, we're going to have a bit of a gap before each chord change. Stop and think, get ready. And the chord changes are thick and fast here. because that's a D, it's different each time. And that's a C. So just worth saying at this point, you want to make sure that you're always looking at the music. You shouldn't have to look at your hands. Your, your right hand isn't going anywhere and you should always know where your left hand is because we've got G, A, B and C with the left hand and your thumb playing those four notes. So we're going back to the beginning and then we're going to go to the second time bar. That's actually quite hard for you to um, play along with because I was stopping and thinking for different amounts of time. So another place to, to pause the video, do it at your own pace. Now, if you can play it all the way through with both hands and no problems, excellent. You can skip the next little intermediate 
fit with the exercises and go straight on to adding a drum beat. Um, however, um, I have done my little pyramid for you just to help you join the lines together. So in exercise one, we're going from bar three. Da, 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 da. Because um, there's a lot of chord changes and it helps you get from one line to the next. So maybe pop that up there. Uh, so. Realize this would be better with a drum beat, wouldn't it? So, so we'll do it for a second time. One, two, three. And it does feel a bit weird stopping there, but that's that's the bit we want to focus on. Which again is why I like having it completely separate, so you can't go any further. So this is the third time. One, two, three. And fourth time. One, two, three. Okay, now let's do exercise two. In fact, we're just going to finish these exercises and then I'll do a separate video for playing them with the drum beats. So one, so this one takes us from here, da, 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 back to the beginning, da, with a new chord. So it's quite easy to forget that chord because the right hand note is the same. So one, two, three. tricky to do these bits in isolation but it's a bit like having your five a day fruit and veg it, it's good for you and it means that you learn the piece thoroughly you don't always have to start at the beginning so third time through one two three fourth time one two three to exercise three um which is the second time bar da, 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 da. no where is it no it's it's from bar three into the ending so da, 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 da. so these exercises are really just joining the bits of the piece joining the lines together so, one, two, three. Second time, one, two, Please do give me a comment, tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, what other songs you'd like to learn. Please um, subscribe as well. 
and um, there'll be more where this comes from if you liked it especially um, I'm potentially going to look at doing videos for the MTB exams um, that haven't already been done for different songs so get in there early um, and request some songs and you get to watch the videos without any adverts <laughs> I think that's it for today so I will um, make another video with these tunes um, with in their final renditions a bit faster um, for you to play along with after you practice everything from today. Thank you very much. <laughs>